so during this holiday season I ended up spending a lot of time in my holiday onesie and I was watching TV on the couch I was taking naps during the day And I found that not doing very much made me stay up a lot later. I felt like I had so many things to catch up on on the internet. I was on my phone a lot. And so I ended up sleeping late. Which made me wake up late. Now that the holiday season is over, it's time for us to get back into our routines. And waking up early is a big part of my life. Our bodies are amazing and they produce a sleep hormone called melatonin. Especially when it's dark outside, it signals your body to produce melatonin to help us go to sleep at night. But since it's a lot darker in the winter time, we are not exposed to as much light in the morning. And sunlight actually helps stop the melatonin secretion, which helps us wake up in the morning. So in the winter time, it is harder to wake up, as I'm sure you've noticed. So in this video, I want to share with you how to wake up earlier in the winter time. Some people say that we should get off of technology three hours before we go to sleep. But for me, I could be on my phone and then fall asleep in a minute. But what does keep me up at night are distractions. And so I hope that all of you will take out a notebook. Let's do this quick little exercise. So on the left side, I write all of the distractions that I have at night that prevent me from sleeping earlier. For me, that is BTS videos, working on my own videos, talking to my friends, and Instagram. And then on the right, what's really important is for you to write, what are you going to do about it? So knowing and identifying those are your distractions, what are we going to do about it? One of my favorite ways to not distract myself is to put my phone far away from me because then I am less likely to check it or to get pulled into looking at things late at night. Sleeping early is a really big part of waking up early and so I always try to make sure that I set myself up for success and that I can sleep earlier and then wake up early in the morning. Number one, turn on some lights. It is much darker outside in the winter time than it is in the summer. If you watch my morning routine videos, you'll see that the minute I wake up, I tell my Google to turn on my lights so that I am awake and the chances of me going back to sleep are a little slimmer. I'm the type of person who can only sleep in a dark room so the chances of me falling asleep are pretty much zero. <laughs> Number two, stay warm. Your body is probably seeking warmth and that's why you want to stay in your bed and not get out of it. And so I like to make sure that I am dressed warmly when I go to sleep and so when I wake up in the morning, I am already warm enough to get out of my bed. Keeping your feet warm is also very important so I like to wear socks, fuzzy socks, all of that. Although sometimes I wake up and one sock is missing. Number three, create a sleep schedule or a sleep cycle. So that means you're trying to sleep at the same time every night and then you try to wake up at the same time every day. Of course, some days you can sleep in, but for the most part, if you wake up at the same time every day, your body is going to get used to it and it's going to create a habit. Now, habits are not formed immediately. They happen through time. So you have to stay consistent and you have to practice doing it. But also find a time that is sustainable and that works for you. So waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning every day may not be sustainable, but maybe 5.30 or 6 a.m. is something that you can work on. Number four, speaking of habits, prevent the habit of snoozing. Every time you set an alarm, if you are so used to snoozing, the chances of you waking up at the time you need to are not very high. The most alarms I set is two, and they're both different sounds. And so my body feels the difference in the two sounds, so it's not playing the same exact thing over and over again. Number five, you wanna look forward to something or have a purpose behind why you're waking up early. If you're just waking up early for no reason at all, it's gonna be harder for for you to just be a morning person. You have to have things to do in order to feel like it's worthwhile to get out of bed. Number six, get your body moving as much as you can in the morning. Whether that is walking around your house or whether that's a workout, you wanna get your body moving so that you're ready for your day. I used to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I would go outside and work out outside in 43 degree weather with my giant jacket because all of the gyms were closed indoors. And during that time, I really learned our bodies love to be challenged and it can 
really rise to the occasion. Number seven. So if you're watching this video, you probably want to wake up earlier. So if you set your alarm and the next day you decide to turn it off and you don't wake up earlier, here's what's really happening. You are choosing to stay in your comfort zone and that's okay. We love our comfort zones. That's why it's called the comfort zone. But if waking up early really is a goal that you truly want, then we need to accept that there's going to be a challenge. It's going to be difficult. But accepting that and saying, this is hard and I'm going to do it anyway, that's when the change really happens. The next time we choose to just sleep in, just know we are accepting our comfort zone. But if you want to be challenged, then we have to be able to do hard things. Number eight, winter is temporary. There is going to be a time where the sun rises is earlier and it's going to make it so much easier for us. Now I'm really used to waking up before the sun gets up but there is a change that happens in the spring where I notice the sun is up the same time I am up. It's just a great feeling to feel. <laughs> Number nine, in the winter time I love to make a warm drink. So whether that's grabbing ginger turmeric tea or making a matcha latte, all of those drinks help me feel comfortable while I read a book or I spend time with Jesus. Number 10, I also now like to take showers in the morning because it really wakes me up and it also ensures that when I'm sleeping, my hair is not wet. I wash my hair in the mornings after my workouts. But a great way to also keep yourself warm in the winter time and to wake you up is to put the hair dryer through your clothes and it really just warms my entire body. So these are my 10 tips on how to wake up earlier, especially in the winter time. I hope that these help you be a morning person. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!